And today we are going to talk about the Rebel Stakes at Oakland Park. It's on Saturday, and there are only eight horses. And everyone's talking about the favorite, Nadal. What's he going to do? He's trained by Bob Baffert, and some might call him a super horse, but Siggy and I have a different opinion on that. I don't think he's a super horse. Uh, he only has two starts, and he did win his second start in the San Vicente. It was a great two, and, and he did win it by three-fourths of a length over Tino Billy, but I just think he's a bit overrated. I think he's a good horse, but I don't think his price will match what's on paper. Uh, I don't know how good Tino Billy is. Uh, and Storm the Court was in that race, and he's not that good. So I don't think I'm going to pick him on top. Uh, how do you feel about Nadal? Yes. Nadal will be the favorite of the race. Uh, a lot of people is saying the horse is a superstar. That he is a great horse. <clears throat> I think the horse is a good horse. He's unbeaten in two starts. And... Okay, last time out, he won the San Vicente, and that was his second start. I know that it is tough to do what, what he did. He just win the San Vicente in his second start. But he faced a competition that I think is not strong competition. He barely beat Ginobili. And in that race, fast enough, a Calbred was third, and Storm the Court was fourth. If you watch in, uh, the gallop out, I think the horse finished a bit tired. So fast enough, and Storm the Court passed him after the wire. Okay, his pedigree in his dumb side, there is some stamina influence. But like I told you, mostly the blame horses are sprinters or milers. If you check out his progeny, you can find a lot of sprinters and milers. And I think the only rotor horse by blame was Far From Over. Far From Over won... Oh, Far From Over. The, yes, he won a stage in the Derby Trail. That race was on, on a two-turn race. But the other horses are mainly sprinters to get the distance. I don't have doubts about Nadal in terms of distance. Um, like you said, on the bottom, there's plenty of route influences. And I pointed out his second dam is a, is a full sister to Pleasant Stage, who finished second in the Kentucky Oaks in 1992, I think. But... I just don't like his value. I think he's too popular. And it's only a mile and one sixteen, so I don't think it's a, a huge step up from seven furlong. So I think Nadal will handle the distance. I think I think he benefits from the fact that eight rinks didn't enter the race. And um Wells Bayou didn't enter the race either. So that'll help him. Um Yes, maybe the distance is not too far. Maybe he can get one at one sixteenth. But I think that is most, li most likely his limit. Uh, do you think the, ra the rail will hurt him? Well, like I said, it, in most cases when a horse draws the rail, the jockey tries to get him out early to avoid getting stuck in the pocket. I don't know if he can out-sprint no parole to the lead, though. I, I think no parole is just going to go to the front. Yes, that's what he's saying. No parole is going to be sent. That is his race. So Nadal, I think he, he would sit on second place behind this horse, behind no parole. My concern is if, I don't know if Nadal, he could be stuck on the, on the, on the inside and it's not good for him. All right, fair enough. Uh, Nadal is my second choice. Uh, I understand if you're going to toss him completely, though. No, he's, all, he's also my second choice. Which I can't toss him at all because he's working steadily and, and Buffett always is live at Overland Park. Let's talk about our first choice. Three Technique enters this race off a second place finish in the Smarty Jones Stakes. 
And I just think he ran the best race in the race. It, if you notice, Gold Street got away with slow fractions, and he also had a sloppy track or a muddy track to help him. And in, in the Southwest Stakes, we saw that Gold Street uh, flop when he didn't get the lead, and Silver Prospector actually won that race after finishing fourth in the Smarty Jones. Uh, given how Silver Prospector moved up, I think Free Technique will also improve. He just didn't get any pace to close into. Gold Street got away with, what, a 48 half? And the distance shouldn't be a problem. It's a mile and one sixteenth, and it's not a huge step up from one mile. And you actually like his pedigree for going long. Okay, Gold Street won that race because that was an uncontested lead. And he also was benefited by the muddy track. Remember that that was three technique first race of the year. So there is a there is room to improve. Also his workouts are excellent. We recorded a bullet on Feb twenty nine. Also I expect a bit of pace in this race and that would be benefit three technique in also I read a quote then where uh, he went Lucas told, Jer- told Jeremiah Engelhardt that the horse ran a, ve- a very good race. Uh, I agree with Lucas here. I think he ran very well, and that's why three technique is my first choice in the race. The appeal to him from a value standpoint is that the public is going to go for Nadal as the first choice, and they might make Silver Prospector the second choice. We'll see. So, three technique could be the third choice, maybe five to one, six to one. I'm thinking. I think it could be five to one. Five to one. Yes. Fair enough. Speaking of Silver okay, Prospector, uh, do you want to talk about exactly. him? This is a horse that, but the horse always runs well. Did you see? He won the Kentucky Jockey Club at seven to one. He won the Southwest Stakes at four to one. He won his maiden race at six to one. So the horse always runs well, but it seems the betters don't like him. He has a okay. He beat this the law. On the, over a sloppy track, and it seems it's going to rain on Saturday. So this horse, I, in my opinion, the horse is going to run very well. Right, uh, he beat Tiz the Law in the Kentucky Jockey Club, and that was a key race. But we must recognize that Tiz the Law uh, wasn't an experienced horse by then. I, I think Tiz the Law was still learning uh, how to race. And then Silver Prospector, we saw, had a bad trip in the Smarty Jones Stakes, and he could only finish fourth. And then he won the Southwest Stakes, because better thought he was just an average horse after the Smarty Jones. Uh, I had him in the, in the Southwest Stakes, so I feel like the time to get him was then. Uh, I think betters might make him the second choice in this race. What do you think? I'm using him as my third choice. Third Silver choice? Prospector. Yes. yes, I give I respect Buffett at Oakland Park. Yeah, I, I think Silver Prospector is my third choice too. It's a horse that is unbeaten on three stars. Okay, facing restricted competition is now making a giant step up in class. And he, he is no parole. No parole is a Louisiana bred by violence, and he always wins gate to wire. I think this would this would not be a section if we try to win again wire to wire. So what do you think of him? You think this is you feel it's too much for him? Yeah, I, I do. I can't bet a horse that won all three of his races against Louisiana breads. 
Uh, he did win them by a lot of lengths, but still, he, he wasn't facing anything. They were just Lu Louisiana breds. Tom Amos is a respectable trainer, though. Uh, he's the trainer of Serengeti Empress. So you know he's not going to raid no parole. I think he's just going to send him to the front. But I just don't think he's good enough. The speed figures say he's just one of the contenders. It doesn't say that he's a he's the best horse. Um, on Time Farm US, his last two speed figures are 99 and 105. And that's just not good enough to win this race. He won by 14 lanes. Then he won by 13 lanes. And his last race at Delta Down, he won by six lanes. So worth a try. A horse will try to, to win this race or try to run well against this competition. Yeah, it's worth a try for the connections, but I can't bet him. No, me neither. All right, do you want to talk about Basin, who makes his first start since September? He hasn't raced since September at Saratoga. Uh, he won the hopeful stakes by six lengths, and he broke his maiden at Saratoga too, and he actually beat three technique in that race. But I don't know what to expect. The layoff is so long. Uh, I don't know if he can route either. What do you think? Yes, he beat three technique, but that race was over six furlongs. And that was a long time ago. That was on July. And then he won the hopeful by six lengths, beating Chop Lift, who is a great three takes horse at his best. And Godzilla, horse that disappeared. This horse, I think he has some talent, but I think he might need, might need this race. He could run well, but I can't see him winning. Maybe he can hit the board at his best. Okay, do you have any thoughts about American Theorem before we end? That's another horse that is coming from a, lay, uh, a layoff. It's like the race. And another horse, horse that I think he needs the race. He shows, showed some talent. Okay, he was second to eight rings. But this is a horse that can improve. I've seen this horse, okay, show some talent at two years old. Then his trainer gave him a break. He's coming back with some good workouts, but I think the horse needs this race. The horse all can run well. To then take some form for um, the next race, maybe the Arkansas Derby. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I can't use American Theorem. Um, he only has two races, and neither of them, neither of them really stood out. Even though he broke his maiden at Del Mar and finished second to eight ranks, I'm just gonna wait and see for now. I'm only going with two horses. I have three technique on top. Adele's my second choice, and maybe Silver Prospector if I had. We are to. totally agree in this race. I am um, with three technique. He's my first choice. If he's five to one or six to one, I'm going to bet him to win. My second choice is Nadal. See, I think he would be six to five or even in the odds. And there is no value for this horse, a horse with just two starts. And first time on two, on a two turns race. On a maybe probably a sloppy track, so there is no value to bet this horse to win. And my third choice is Silver Prospector, a horse who always runs well. So I think this this is would not be the section. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, if yeah, if three technique is five to one, then that's a win bet for me too. If you want to follow us on Twitter, uh, look in the description down below. If you want to email one of us, uh, look in the description. And if you want to look at our PayPals and give us money, uh, look in the description too. Thanks for watching. Okay, see you next week.